Hey, I'm back. So, um, that little, uh, that bigger piece I cut down to little pieces. And I'm going to put one on each side. And then I took some the old music paper that I gessoed and I just tore it all around the edges. And we'll use that on the background for one side. And on the other side, I took some more music sheet and tore it down. So we'll use that. So we'll kind of go like that somehow. And then this came off of this. This is from a piece of uh, music. I couldn't even use that paper on much of anything because it's so brittle it'll just break. So, but I think I'd like it. I like my, everything's being torn, so I think I'm going to go ahead and tore, tear all of the edges, and we'll see if we can use it or not. Actually, I like that line right there, so let's keep the line. And we'll just basically this kind of collaging in the corners, I guess. And we'll we'll glue that down somehow with those peeking out those numbers, something like that. I won't glue those down right this second because I wanted to show you. I also want to make, for this, I want to make a little bag. And I don't have a lot of bags. And I definitely don't have any bags that are printed. So, a long time ago on Junk Journal Junkies, which I love, uh, somebody made some bags out of just a piece of paper. And, um, they, so we'll, I'll show you what I mean. So first I do, this is just a 11 by 5 and a half, um, and this um, design is from my digital store, and I think that it would make a good bag cover, you know, outside, and I think that it'll uh, complement this. I have some others, like I have this one here, but I don't think the yellow, I think the yellow is too bright for this. I'm kind of going with neutral, neutral color, so. So all you do, this is very easy, all you do is just take some of the two-sided tape and you lay it down on one edge as straight as you can and as close to the edge as you can and then you fold these over and you try to get it as thin so it just catches the edge because that will make your bag bigger and you try to get it as straight as you can which I'm terrible about getting things straight but we'll try and you just fold it and fold it out Fold it out like that. Okay, and then since I'm really bad about getting things straight, I'm just going to start a little bit of this tape. Not the whole thing because otherwise I won't get it straight. And I'm going to do just an edge of it. Hopefully, you can see. I'm just going to do a little bit of it and stick it down. So it stays straight. And I'm just going to pull the rest. Oh. The last time I tried this, it was all wonky. <laughs> so that way it worked a little better. So what this is going to be is we're going to fold this in half. Like this. And fold it in half like this. And then it's going to go in our signature. Let's do it between these two. Like this. Like this. Now it's too big. So we're going to cut off some of it. And once you sew it in, it's going to make its own little pocket bag. Here, but we're going to cut some of that off, so it's too big. So we'll cut it off. Luckily, this is a, a little bit of a line to follow. Otherwise, I would never get it even close to being straight. Like that. And then you can either take your circle punch and you can punch a little bit 
of the bag to make a little bit of a opening like that or you can take your scissors and just cut a little scoop out like so. Eh, maybe a little deeper. And there we have a bag. Now let's see if we got it, if it's gonna fit. And once you sew it in, it's gonna make two sides. So let's see if we make it small enough. Yep, it's gonna fit. So you open it up. And once we sew it in, we're gonna have a place for a bag on this side, and we've made a bag. And now you could, before you even glue this together. You could glue things to that. You could add lace. You could sew lace if you're going to sew and not be a terrible sewer like me. And you could do all kinds of things on there before you uh, close those two ends together. So um, there we go. We've got a, another part of our signature going. So, All right, um, I'm going to let you guys go for now. And uh, maybe I'll come back on this one um, and show you a little bit more as I move along with it. But um, I hope you guys have a great crafting day. And um, if nothing else, I hope that the video showed you. You don't have to be really precise and, and, and perfect about everything. And, you know, let's just have some fun. So um, thank you for watching.